Hey everybody, this is Ken Quinn with U.S. Term Limits, and I'm being joined by Representative Scott Wallace here in New Hampshire. We had a good afternoon. We had a good day today. We yes. we were hoping there was going to be a vote on the uh, HCR 12, which is our resolution for term limits uh, for Congress. Uh, the committee, which is the House, State, Federal, and uh, Veterans Affairs Committee was planning on taking it up, but the good news is they delayed that because they want more time to study it. So for us, what that means, <laughs> Representative Wallace, is that we've got more time to build support for this effort here in New Hampshire, which uh, was kind of what I was hoping for. That's um, correct. So let me ask you, why why did you want to sponsor HCR 12 uh, to help put term limits on Congress? Well, thanks for the question, Ken. The, the purpose for imposing term limits on uh, congressional office holders is that's going to have the single most greatest effect on the, the, uh, the problem that we're having here in this country. Though New Hampshire has not been directly impacted by uh, federal delegates with long tenure here in New Hampshire, we've been negatively impacted indirectly quite recently actually by other members of Congress that have been there for decades. Uh, that being said, we get some of these members that have been there for you know, 20, 30, 40 years out of the way. We can get some new blood in. Uh, and get them thinking along like the rest of the people here in the country do. Now, that's a great point because there's a number of small states where their congressional delegation really has no voice in Washington because of the seniority that these other folks have decades in there. And so this is a help level the playing field amongst the states, wouldn't it? Correct. New Hampshire would benefit greatly from that. Uh, like you uh, mentioned, we are one of the smallest states with one of the smallest federal delegations and where it turns over rather frequently you're absolutely right we don't have the benefit of that institutional knowledge and experience in congress and uh... frankly we get uh... run rush out over quite regularly in, uh, at congress yeah so th this is not only important for the country but specifically new hampshire and some other states uh, that are smaller that uh... can really have a, a greater voice in dc so that that's a great point there's so many great reasons for term limits. It gives the voters more of a choice of the ballot box. It helps reduce corruption. You know, the framers never expected this to be a lifetime gig, right? Ag agreed. Yeah. And one of my favorite aspects of term limits is it forces these long uh, term, these long serving members of Congress to go back to their, to their uh, towns and cities and live under the, under the rules and the the yoke that they have created and promulgated over the decades. Now that's great. You know, that's actually some quotes from the framers. That's one of the reasons they put it in some of their state constitutions back in the 1700s. And they 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 saw a term limits rotation of office as a way to get the people to have a citizenship legislature, which is what we're trying to accomplish. Correct. And uh, probably not a lot of the people are aware, but we had. Uh, term limits uh, on federal delegation on our federal delegation here in New Hampshire up until I believe 1996, yeah. uh, as did 22 other states I believe, but that was ruled unconstitutional uh, by the Supreme Court of the United States in 1996 I believe. Yeah, that was uh, the Supreme Court decision. So now we're going to make it constitutional, aren't we? Through an amendment to the Constitution, which is how we have to approach this, folks, and this is where we need your help. So how can the folks in New Hampshire help you get this through uh, the, not only the committee, but also through the House and the Senate this year? It's actually a pretty simple in this, uh, uh, with the modern communication methods that we have, you can reach out to your, uh, your, your legislator. Uh, if you go to the, the general court website, you can easily identify who your legislator is, send them an email, look up their Facebook page, uh, send them a message, tell them that you support this measure, and if uh, and you'd like them to support it, um, and if they don't, we need to get them on the record as to why not. Oh, that's great! Absolutely. So, folks, you've heard it here from Representative Wallace, and you've been hearing it from me for quite a while. We've got to get this passed in New Hampshire, and please go to our Facebook page. It's called New Hampshire Term Limits. Make sure you like that. That's how we'll be keeping you uh, informed of uh, the current votes and hearings and things such as that. And also, go to our website, termlimits.com. Make sure you sign the petition. That's how you receive emails from us uh, to keep you informed as well. And not only that, share it with all your friends and family, of, especially in folks in New Hampshire. We need to get as many folks behind this as possible, and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident that we can get this done this year. Yep. And, uh, and I think, uh, you know, the, the little bit of extra time that we have with the delay in the uh, executive session on committee, we can, we can get a little bit more input to our members of the uh, state, federal relation, yep. state Federal Relations Board. I agree. So, great. Thank you so much, folks, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.